what I chose to do my um, my project on for interpersonal communication um, was uh, I didn't choose a clip like I usually do in your classes. I chose um, a personal experience that I had um, back in high school with a few friends um, and to kind of give it some context. Uh, we were all like super close at the time. We all, we hung out every day at school. We hang, hung out after school during like football practice or whatever it was. We would always conversate and just like never, it's hard to get us apart. Um, and it was all going super good for a long time. Um, and then the other two would always like bicker at each other and, um, just kind of like getting a lot of disagreements. And then I would be the person in the middle who ended up having to like diffuse a lot of the problems. And one time, I don't remember what the problem was, but it got like pretty serious between them and they wouldn't talk to each other for like weeks or something. Um, but they were handling it like children compared to high schoolers, I guess. Um, but just like me being in the middle and seeing how kind of irrational they were both being, I took like my role as friend in that group uh, was to kind of bring them together, I thought, was to bring them together and like resolve the conflict. So I'm gonna be talking about conflict management and ways that this particular example of me and my friends in high school um, chose to act and not to act. So one of the things that, <clears throat> looking back now, it's easy to say that they're both evil, avoiding each other. Um, that was their conflict style of choice, um, whether they knew it or not, that was what they both chose to do. And I think it reflects the principle of negative reciprocity, um, how one person who's more inclined to usually begin um, the negative uh, conflict style of avoiding or the indirect conflict style of avoiding. And then the other one was like, well, if they're going to do it, then I'm just going to do it too. And like, to me, as like the third party person who's kind of seeing all this happen, it's like, okay, that's like not going to get you guys resolution and anything. So, um, I decided to trick them sort of in asking them to get food each separately. Um, and they both were like, sure, or whatever. And then I picked up one who lives closer to me than the other, and I headed to the other's house and ended up forcing them to talk. And along with that force came uh, the intimidation of getting me smacking them with the broomstick that I had found. And that ended up kind of like making it funny, but also like showing that I am like, I seriously like want them to resolve this problem that they have because it's like really, was taking a toll on me and my part in the relationship um, and it was just like annoying to watch as well because they were just being super childish about whatever the problem was. Um, other things that like consisted among the interpersonal communication like vocabulary that we've been covering among uh, along conflict um, there was definitely like button pushing going on. Um, they are really good at getting into each other's skin and kind of like just threatening uh, to like not ever talk to each other again or whatever like high school people do. Um, but one thing that I found now that we have learned about it and I didn't know this at the time, but I created um, a space for them to effectively like listen to one another. So I created like a safe space, kind of like forced space um, for them to communicate to one another and let each other say their points of view, let the other one have the opportunity to understand and ask questions to further understand um, the other person's point of view and hopefully create the sense of empathy between both of them. Um, and I don't know, it just came to a compromise. Um, obviously both parties weren't gonna win based off whatever the argument was because they are just two very different people, which is good that they're actually good friends, um, but just the way they both kind of go about things, there was no way um, that a collaborating conflict style would have worked for them. And I had no clue about this at the time when I was trying to delegate this. Um, but a, yeah, a compromise was definitely reached. And um, I just, looking back at it now, uh, like being almost done with the communications major, it's like super interesting to be able to go back and like realize steps that were kind of taken even without knowing and how kind of 
just like natural uh, interpersonal relationships are and how we the the research behind uh, like con like for example conflict styles is is based off like real life so just being able to like live through that and like look like back at just like any kind of personal experience that any of us have um, and just be able to like analyze things that happen throughout it um, I do like like I can't it's hard for me to like watch like The Bachelor I used to like it but now it's like I analyze it too much and just like think there's no way that that's actually real what they're saying because it makes no sense among like the research that we have learned um, throughout this class and other classes so I just think it's super awesome that we are able to like look at research and data and apply it to past experiences and even uh, apply it to future experiences and um yeah that is my story and my presentation also this is going to be a disclaimer at the end of the video i do have um a pretty serious sore throat right now so if i sound quiet or like my voice is kind of in and out um that is why and also christine thank you very much um for all you've done for me throughout my laverne career um with advising and just kind of advice uh, among other things uh, such as grad school and all this kind of stuff i appreciate you being there um, with a quick email or if I can come sit in your office and talk, I appreciate it very much. So thank you.